Hey guys, welcome to the Goose Gaming. Today I'm going to do a little tutorial on how to bomb things properly and not mess yourself up with it as I've seen so many people do. I've done it myself as well. So, and this is obviously not the greatest game to be showing because no fighters actually come after me. But it's good for finding out like your bearings, making sure that you aren't off target, and yeah, like when you line yourself up well. Oh wow! Oh, it looks like I'm just about a bunch of guys crashed into each other. That's probably why there's no fighters. Uh, but yeah, like I, when you line yourself up well, you can hit these bases with like really good, really precise balls. I just used the 50 pounders in this one, and I'm in the JU88A, and I'm just using 28 50 pounders, which is fine, because, like, you don't need a 1,000 pound bomb to take out the base. That's these 50 pounders are nice because there's so many of them that you can just switch between targets. But the main thing that you have to do is you have to keep you in relation to the base. You have to keep looking at your map. That way you know how far away the base is. The base is super far away from me right now. Um, but when I look back up in a second here while I'm not looking down these bomb sites. And when I'm not looking down these bomb sites, I pull myself out because I thought the base was closer. But really, it's actually kind of far away. And that's why you use your tactical map a lot. Also, my plane is hiding the base from me, so I can't see it very well. So I just hop in bomb, bomber site, adjust. You can see the little arrow at the top. And I adjust that every once in a while to make sure that my plane isn't off target. I dropped eight bombs on this. So that's the equivalent of um, 400 pounds of bombs onto that base. Where you only need. Huh. Yeah, but that's 400 pound bo pounds of bombs onto the base. Which is much more than you need. You only need 250 pounds of bombs on these earlier bases. So whether that's one 250 pound bomb or five 50 pounders, it works well. So th this plane is nice because it's designed for ground attack more so than uh, horizontal bombing. It does have a bomb site and when, if you're in a dive, the bomb site does not work. Your plane flattens out as soon as you go into bomber view. Which is a pain, but sometimes when I have lots of bombs left and I know I'm not going to be swinging around and going for the airfield, I, I'll i just dive bomb of eights and just drop 10 or so onto the base. And I think that's what I do on the last base. But the nice thing about this plane, because it's an attack plane, is it can go fast. And right here, I go into a fairly steep dive. Most bombers would not allow most bombers would be like reduce speed and if you don't you will die. your wings will literally rip off your plane. But I reach a solid 600 kilometers an hour here. I'm going fast like 600 kilometers an hour is nothing to see. That. And you if you saw my contrail there it was near vertical dive. But I get into bomb view again and I'm not weapon because Wepping, I find, is only good if you need to go somewhere really fast. And I take a flak shell there, and I'm leaking oil and fuel, which is never good. But it really doesn't matter, because I have no fighters on me. Oh, I have to sneeze. Ugh. But I have no fighters on me, and I won't have any fighters on me for the rest of the game, because I'm flying at a very high altitude, and I'm flying kind of away from the battle. I'm doing my I'm doing my mission and the fighters unless one of them is taken off from the airfield, it'd be 
complete waste of time to come after them. Yeah, and we're shooting down the fighters too. Right there in the bottom, you can see the kill of all of an I-16. And right here, I realize, oh, I'm gonna miss. So then I go into a very steep dive. I almost read out here from negative G. And this is just a dive bomber strategy here. And you just drop all the bombs on it and pull out as hard as you can. Track your air brake. Remember to do that because if you don't, you will die. And I just dropped all my bombs on that thing. And I think my HE-111H goes right after the airfield here. I can't tell if he really does or not. So I don't pay attention because I'm trying to line myself up with airfield. But it's, it's a good play to go after this thing. There's an I-16 there, and I'm terrified of it because I'm flying at a low altitude now. For them, it wouldn't be, I'd just be like a little snap for them. I'm wounded as I took a flat, flat shot to both engines, spewing out oil and water and fuel all over Bastol. But, and then the I-16, I-16 is a good point, it's very maneuverable, but I have not played the Soviets a ton. I-16 is as far as I've gotten. Yeah, but I want to play the Soviets more, but I don't know. I like the Germans. But if you want to see more War Thunder videos, I can try to put some out. I, I'm not the best at getting huge kill games and all that. I'm good at my bomber, and I'll try to get a video with Silver One, my my friend who I've done the uh, Fortnite things with, I can play War Thunder with him. But thing is, though, I have to, I have to. It's like a long process for that. But if you want to see more videos, leave a comment. If you don't want to see any more of these videos, don't leave a comment. Then I'll just go back to World of Warships. But I, I do enjoy War Thunder. I'm thinking of putting on a Sea Skylines video in the future. Uh, and yeah, I've just been busy with school and all that, so I have not been able to put out a ton of videos. Also, I'm working on a model, so that's also another thing that I can't do. And then. Right here, we destroy the airfield, and I thought that we were going to win immediately, but no, the enemy has to bleed out. So I'm going to come in for my landing, and as you can tell, I'm terrible at landings. But they always seem to have half a plane back at the airfield, so I am able to break my plane up, and I actually use my air brake, which is something that I like about this plane, is that you can just use your air brake. If you're going way too fast. And I come in actually way too slow. That's something. I probably shouldn't have even put up my landing flaps. And I start to wobble. And I just go full power here. And because I would have noticed I've been to the ground and crash. But I hit it. I hit that thing like. Probably around 2 kilometers an hour. I ripped the tip of my wing off. And I keep it on. But it, it's fun. If you enjoyed that video. Please consider liking or even subscribing and have a good day.